does that make sense? Like you, if you yes. have if you have a wall and you're painting it white, yes. you can paint it however many times you want, but you'll only ever come up with white. Yes. You have to have an ethnic or somebody of color yes. to create, yes. and we have always been the master creators. The Americans and white people have lied to people and made them think that they were the ones that, the, that were here first, and it's a lie. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah, it's a lie. You know what you should read or listen, watch? Dane Calloway. Dane Calloway. Because most natives are actually black people. And a lot of people don't realize that. I agree with that. You know? Yeah. Uh, every, it's known that the first person came from from Africa or that part of the continent. You know? So a lot of people are very confused. And all religion is, is a way to... What's the word I'm looking To control. Religion is a way to control masses. It's the way to put an idea and to completely have control. Yeah. <laughs> By Jing. What is your last name, lady? Hall. <laughs> Jennifer Hall. <laughs> Jennifer Hall. Yes. Acampe, Africa, Eurasia, Villala, 48 ml for the lovely intellectual Coletto Molonis. Thank you. You're welcome. It's like I try to have this conversation like Sunny. I asked her, I said, what do they teach you about, you know, your creation story? And in Native American, and like Seneca, they fell from the sky. Yeah, from the women. Right, from the women. Right, right. <laughs> But they don't tell you though, that's really not a creation story because where did she, you know what I mean? It's like God, where, where did he, he come came from? from? Exactly. Where did they come from? How did that happen? You know, what a lot of people don't realize is when you're looking at a map, you're looking at it upside down. And the, and the earth was one continent. It was never broken apart. So originally the first people that came were all of one color. That's why in the Bible it says he had copper skin and hair of wool. That's why. Because God was never white. But if you look at all the pictures, like, do you know what Negus means? N-E-G-U-S. Oh, no. It's an Ethiopian king. Think of Negus. Nigger. Negus. That is the origin of that word. But white people don't want you to know anything about people's true heritage in their backgrounds. Because of that reason. Because they associate white with power, with money. You know what I mean? We, we associate size with, with, with power and growth. That's why they will always make you feel like you're a minority when it's not true. Hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> what, do, what do you think? Uh, with the language and the properly numbers, you can make that whatever life form, belief or not, yeah. that is true that they have the right for eat and breathe. Some life forms can get that message. Other life forms, we cannot. Right. I think that we choose to be savages. We used to be than a dog, like a wolf, like a beaver. Yep. And not like a consciousness so advanced that allowed to believe with words and numbers that they don't have the right for it. Yes, yes. Did you know though also that your body is a temple? Your body is another dimension. And that's why you have a pineal gland, which is a master gland that a lot of people don't realize. Melanin is the true creation of life. Melanin is what you have in your skin. That's what makes you brown, like brown, like in your color and your eyes. You know what I mean? Without that, that is the true power of creation is melanin. Again, like I said, than the white seeds, people than are the seeds that grows under exactly. under under the on the earth. Right. That Germani Correa from Voluntariando said. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I just was saying who told me that. I was speaking to Oh, him. I see, I see. So, like, white he people, white, the white race is a recessive gene. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. If you have two parents, brown, anything with do with melanin or color is dominant. That's a known fact. If You know what I'm saying? Like, through recessive genes and mutations, you get redheads with blue eyes. Those are mutations. They're not natural. We are the natural people, and we have always been here first. Well, they are natural in the way that they evolved from something other nature. Exactly. But it's a mutated evolution. They evolved because they had to. Does that make sense? Like, we're natural. It, it has sense, and I am thinking about you, and I'm, me, and about mankind, that we have this characteristic, that the carbon, that atom, that has all the color of the spectrum, and at the whites, maybe it's a recessive gene 
color skin and could be um, dominance in other ways but color, you know? Right. Like, race is just not colors, it's just behave too. Race is a point of view. There it goes. I agree race with that. Is, race is an indoctrinated belief. There it goes. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with actual color or people. All it is is a way to oppress certain types of people. That's all color is. Because you know what? When you go to different countries, they don't say you're white, you're black. You know what I mean? It's not about that. It's you're European, you're American. Over there, it's not about race. And that's the difference. That's why they're so much better off. You know? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Everything around here is always a gameplay on color or this or that and entitlement. When really, if people could just, you know, like Eid, you know, like with Muslims, you know what that is? So when they fast for 30 days, when they go through their fasting time, it's to show that no group has more power, more money, more class, because when they all feast, when they fast all day, at the end of the evening, all races, all colors, all creed come together and eat. There it goes. You know what I mean? Because that's an equality. That's when it shows you, no matter what, we all come together to eat as a people. You know oh what I mean? Oh my gosh. It's Beautiful a, what you're saying, lady. Yeah, it's a beautiful thought. If only we could incorporate that in America, it would be a lot better place. So we can help on that. I think that you are doing it because this is going to be online, for example. Really? This, yes, until you say no and don't going to be. Do you allow that this will be online? Sure. Thank you. Absolutely. Jennifer Hall. Jennifer Hall. For the words of Jennifer Hall. <laughs> Copy, I love you. Let's go. We got to check it out in here. I love you and thank you so much. For transmitting for the lovely intellectual Coletto Maloney's love you baby. Mwah.